My name's Lee and I'm the owner here at Yorkshire AV and this video is all about the new Cyrus power amplifiers both the XR series and the classic series. Cyrus have been undergoing a refresh of their XR and their classic series over the last 12 to 18 months and with that there is coming together the natural timeline of the current power amplifiers be it the Stereo 200 and the X, like the Mono X300s, um, phasing out, and a new power amplifier, a new product that's coming in to replace them. We've been doing some testing of the Power XR and the Classic Power for the last couple of months. We've been asked to do a little video to look at comparing and contrasting between the current outgoing models and obviously the new power amplifiers. And with that, our experiences of driving both everyday small bookshelf speakers right through to big statement speakers such as the Dali Epicores that are here behind me. So let's get into the specs first. So Power XR, the XR series as we all know is the flagship product set from Cyrus Audio and if we quote everything in six ohms that'll keep it simple for us all. Uh, there's a lot of numbers that I have to remember and it's very easy to get them the wrong way around. So Power XR stereo power amplifier much like the stereo 200 there is no possibility of running this in mono mode or bridge mode so it's always a stereo power amplifier and i'll come on to later on how do you then implement by amping and that's very straightforward the power xr is rated at 2 by 110 watts class ab into 6 ohms and what you will note with all of the new power amplifiers is that they have an upgrade PSU port on the back of them. And for the first time, that makes a big difference in terms of power handling and the gain experience. So the Power XR, whilst it's 110 watts into 6 ohms with a, um, without a power supply on there, if you were to install a PSU XR, that jumps up to 121 watts per channel. And whilst we're not talking about 300 or 400 watts per channel, like we might be used to from previous products, what we are seeing and what we are certainly experiencing is a complete refinement and a different delivery from Cyrus. It's moving up that tree in terms of the audiophile experience, easier, clearer, more natural. Um, and that's certainly been our experience with the Power XRs. If we look at the classic power amplifiers, very similar specs in terms of power output, 2 by 110 watts into 6 ohms. So the same power rating as the Power XR. Again, you will notice on the back it has the PSXR2 power supply port and a very similar configuration. Again, banana plugs are now accepted on the back. We've got switchable XLR and RC inputs, and you have a chain input um, if you want to send the same signal that's incoming out to a second power amplifier, which then gives you the ability to run in a biamp configuration without the need for going down monos or bridging an individual amplifier. Price points of the new amplifiers at the time of launch the Power XR is £2,995 and the Classic Power is £2,395. Now I'm acutely aware that there's going to be a lot of people asking how can possibly 110 watts per channel compete with the Mono X300 for example and that was initially my, my same hesitation. I was worried that big demanding speakers were going to be a bit flat and maybe underpowered and obviously with a price point of £3,000 that is a little bit cheaper than the Mono X300. You get a pair and all of a sudden you're saving up to £600 if you are paying for the Phantom Black finish. So there are some benefits there. Now if we were to run a biamp configuration, 4 ohm load, um, we're getting to 280 watts, that would have been maybe 400 watts on the Mono X300s. So we're still delivering a, a good number in terms of what the output is. But I think what I've experienced with the Cyrus and another video of mine that I've just done 
as a bit of a walk around the shop and looking at, let's say, the Dali Epicors, is that the Syrahs absolutely packs a quality punch. And one thing that's coming through, much more so than Stereo 200 and Mono X300, is refinement. So the noise floor is seemingly lower. You know, so much more detail and information in the bass region, for example, which when we compare with the Stereo 200 or the Mono X300, whilst it's there, it's perhaps a little lumpier, a bit more muddy. The Mono X 300s, similar kind of experience. The delivery was great, really forward, very live, very sirens, but at the same time, it came a little bit unstuck when it came to refinement in the mid-range, and in particular in the treble. When we've compared to a single Power XR, we get a very smooth, very refined, a very different Syrahs. It's still Syrahs in terms of its experience, but it's not as edgy is the only way that I could describe that. And when we're driving bigger speakers and we're using Mono X300s and then a stereo pair of Power XRs, the whole experience is more holographic. It's so much more three-dimensional. And that I think is what's impressed us the most here in store is whilst it's not got the same power output, it's the quality of the watts that matters. And I've got other manufacturers here where we've got 90 watts class AB amplifiers that are eight or nine thousand pounds. So people are expecting three, four, five hundred watts like on big, big power amplifiers. And it's not required. It's the quality of the current. It's the time, it's the rhythm, it's the output control that the actual toroidal's giving that's making this a standout product. And actually, for the first time, you play the classic versus the Power XR, and the two, you can tell the similarities in design. Um, you just get that top end refinement um, and the extra detail through the XR series, which becomes accented further if you add on a PSU XR. And that is what I think my customers will probably undertake that journey. Pre-XR, Stream XR, and then obviously Power XRs. And adding the power supplies, we all know that adding a power supply to a streamer does great things in terms of the management of the chip and the management of the, the output stage. Same on the preamp. The power amp, it's the first time we're seeing that extra control. And while it's only 10, 11 more watts per channel, it significantly lifts the airiness and the three-dimensionality of the music. So whilst these create an impressive sound as a pair of speakers, the power supply just gives it that extra lift. It just becomes wider, taller, and deeper. And as my dad said yesterday, who's a massive music fan, he's a musician himself, you know, it sounds incredibly realistic. And that's what ultimately we're all searching for. And that's why I'm absolutely pushing the Power XRs in store when they become available. It's a product that has evolved perfectly with the wider series, and it's one obviously which sounds fantastic as well. The Classic Power is a similar experience. I think as sides have refreshed their product set, the Classic Pre and the Classic Power as a combination now gives customers that entry level point into Cyrus, and it's no longer the massive leap between entry and flagship that there has once been. Um, yes, of course, the Pre is significantly cheaper than the Pre XR, but when you listen to the packaging, actually, you, it, it is a very, very good combination. It's a combination which is rich, it's typically Syrahs, it's a full-bodied sound. Yes, absolutely, you know, when you compare the, the, the overall package, the Classic is somewhat behind as far as musicality. Um, but that's what you would expect when you're comparing a, a £5,000 combination to then something which is bordering on £7,500. We always expect more when we invest more. And that is very true with how Cyrus have designed the Classic Power and the Power XR. So to summarise, Cyrus are undertaking a huge amount of refresh within their product set. Power XR, classic power in terms of their components and their experience are a significant improvement upon the outgoing products, Stereo 200 and Mono X. The Mono X 300, whilst on paper has significantly more power, isn't as worthy in our experience as the new XR series. 
and the Stereo 200 again is behind the curve when it comes to output performance against the classic power. So customers who are hesitant around going down the route of buying a new power amp from Syras, fear not. Our experience from £500 bookshelf speakers to £40,000 flagship products has been a real positive one and we've done a lot of listening over the last couple of months pulling out the you know the different combinations and listening to them side by side because we also wanted the confidence that actually this new product set was going to integrate into our solutions and the truth is it absolutely does absolutely blown away with the quality the interaction the control the feedback from customers who've been in the shop and have seen these firsthand have all been not just great but really really positive and as a retailer that's important the feedback's important i know for syras and subsequently absolutely 100 percent behind this new product set